YouTube. What's good? What's good? It's your boy Sneed the Barber, aka Sneed the Great One. Yeah, today we're going to do a light fade. We're going to keep the top and we're going to enhance the front line a little bit. So we're going to start with the open guard all around. You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing? What y'all been up to? Y'all miss me? You know? You know how we do it. No guard all around. Always make sure you work nice and clean. Because this saves you time so you don't have to keep going back and touching up your work. And it's going to look clean off the rip. You know what I'm saying? Then next, we're going to take. You know what I'm saying? After we do this, we're going to clean it up. We're going to close it up a little bit. And we're going to clean up underneath. You know what I'm saying? We're going to start cleaning up that fade. Nice. Make sure. And when you using these clippers like especially for the beginners make sure you have your clipper nice and flat against the the head of the customer right so you get nice clean lines when you cleaning up the side you know and you want you want to do it in as like a, a one shot take as much as possible because time is money you know what i'm saying then we're gonna adjust it down a little bit and then we're gonna take out that little line you know what I'm saying? That we put in there. So we're going to go ahead and knock that one out. You know? Yeah, time is money. So it don't make sense putting a heavy line up in your fade that you got to take out. So you, this is the easier way to do it. And even if you want to skin fade it, you could come with the liners and take a little line out rather than put that big line in that you got to take out. And it's hard to take out. Then you're going to be spending a lot of time doing that. Then we're going to take the one and a half. And we're going to go all the way up. Now, these are bulletproof steps to doing a quick fade. Like, once you learn your clips, then that's half the battle. Then you, Once you learn your clips, you're going to become quicker. And the blends is going to show that you know your clips. Because you're going to know the exact guard to use to take out a line. So, all that goes into play when you're learning your guards. All right? Then we're gonna take the one guard and we're gonna take that, you know, we're gonna soften up that blend right there. All around. Alright. See, it's you know, it's it's almost blended already. Like look look at the steps. And it's that we only up to guard number two. You know what I'm saying? Alright, man, you know uh, I appreciate all the subscribers, man. You know, the, my YouTube followers, my um, Instagram followers, I, I, I respect and I really fools with all y'all. Especially when I'm out there in the shows, meeting everybody in person. Now, you know what I mean? If you see me in any show, feel free to come up to me, introduce yourself, because I really like to meet people face to face. Then we're going to close up this guard and we're going to hit the blend a little bit. You know, a little bit more softening up just a little bit more for the next clip because don't don't worry if your clipper don't get out the blend right away because you, all you're doing is softening up the blend so you can come with your next clip and take out the line so don't ever like waste too much time with that once it stop cutting and you see that it's not cutting anymore here get you the next guard the one lower the one underneath and then Start from the open position and then take out that line. Half guard. Right? Now, if you're going to cl start close, then you're just going to hit the line and don't go further. Right? And if you're going further up on the blend, then you would open your guard for safety. So, you always, if you're hitting the line direct, close it up. But you, you only got a small workspace to work. But once you get past that workspace, which is past that line, I want you to open it up and like just for safety so you don't mess up the blend that you created. You just want to um, play it safe at times. Open it up. You ain't going to mess up. And if you try these steps, you know, you, you're going to fade the same way. Get the same magic clips. Or seniors, either or. 
see my little homeboy would like to take pictures of me while I cut hair. It's cool. He's like a little paparazzi. And sometimes you gotta turn that clipper sideways just to just to see if it, it get out the blend a little bit because hair goes grows in different ways. So that's why you gotta do that. Yeah, make sure you follow me at um Sneed the Great One, man. Underscore the Great One, man. You know what that name mean to me, man. You know? It used to be Sneed the Barber, but now I'm two people in one, you know? Me and my brother, you know? Miss him daily. I know the Barber game miss him too, man. All the designs he used to kick out. And, you know, just him as a person. Because I know I do. You know? I don't want to get too emotional on this tutorial. But, you know, back to live action. Yeah, I only use um three clips, but you know, when I do higher hair nowadays, I use the um I added the two to the mix, so it's just it's just a lot easier. So and then you can go just freely with it because it's just gonna cut enough to blend that in, and then after that we're gonna come back with another clip, you know. So we go up all around, up all around. And then we could we, we doing like two steps in one. So we go we going up with the blend and then we we cutting bulk by going sideways. So we you know eliminating different steps, you know, two steps in one. Sideways is cutting bulk, up up like up and down is the blend, so you know what we doing there. And we do that all around. Just for a little bit, because then you're going to jump right back to that other clip and hit the blend up crazy. And then it's going to fall right into place. Right now we're gonna line the front up. Here's a trick to lining someone up, right? You do the two sides. Now once you do the two sides, then when you turn the person around, right? You do the two sides first, and then once you do the two sides, then you'll go from the your strong point or your weak point, whichever one you wanna mix up first, I will go to the weak point. The weak side is always the highest side that can't go any higher. The strong side is the side that you could take off to match the weak side. So that's how you get a straight line. You do the two sides and then you do the weak side first, which is the highest point of the hairline. And then you come straight across and cut the excess off the strong side. So don't forget that, all right? That's a tip, and you should get a straight line every time with that, all right? So two sides, weak side, go straight across, cut the excess off of the strong side. The strong side is called the strong side for a reason, because it has more than enough to where you can cut off to match the weak side, all right? Don't say I ain't tell you nothing. Sneed the barber. Sneed the great one. Alright. Yeah, now this enhancement, this is the airbrush enhancement. Uh, similar to um Kiss Express. It's just in a spray bottle, spray spray foam. And you know. Can't be afraid to do new things, man. You know, in the barber game. The barber game is cut all Changing all the time, man. If you don't feel like changing with it, then you're gonna get left behind. What I always tell somebody is why your phone, when you go to your phone and you go to the apps, it, it's it's always new updates and stuff like that. So why is your barber game not updating? Because everything else is updating, all right? They coming off the Instagram telling you, I want this haircut. Right, you gotta be able to do it, and if it got enhancements, then that's a, a a selling point for you to make even more money. So don't don't ever talk more money out your pocket. All right.
Yeah, once again, man, thanks for following me. Subscribe to my channel. Like all the videos, pictures, comments. Let me know what's going on. I'm back on deck. I got some more videos coming for y'all. And, you know, it's Sneed, baby. You know? I'll be around. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, Snee underscore the barber, and follow the barbershop page at Strictly Skills Barbershop on Instagram. All right, peace. Yeah, man, this instrumental is provided by the Barber Genius on Instagram. Good looking, homeboy. Um, you know what I mean? Beats is fire, so I'm gonna just let y'all listen to the rest of it. All right, peace. Tune in to Solid Bone Productions. <laughs>